So it is more difficult, of course, with a higher rate. However, rents are continuing to rise and they are projected to continue to rise. Okay, what's the number one secret you could think about right now or number one tip, uh, number one piece of advice that you could think of when it comes to selling real estate with rising interest rates? Okay, so first and foremost, if you are a renter, and you don't currently own a home, you pay 100% interest today on your rent. So as long as you can afford the payment and you have the down money and you're financially solvent, you should go ahead and purchase a home now. The first time home buyer inventory, the entry level inventory is still very late and it will continue to be for some time maybe forever. Um, so it is more difficult, of course, with a higher rate. However, rents are continuing to rise and they are projected to continue to rise. So what I say is find a house. It's not going to be perfect, but if it has like 70, 75% of what you want and you can you know, put some sweat equity in a little bit on the rest, get into owning a home because we know over time wealth is built through home ownership. Excellent. Let me pull that away. I, I mean, pull that apart or not pull it apart, but uh, uh, make sure I understand it. So I, I love the way you put that. You, you pay 100% of interest today if you're renting, right? And if you can afford the down payment and have, you know, um, and it's it's affordable for the for the monthly payment, what you're saying is you might as well buy now because of the projections, not only in rising uh, interest rates, but and also the rising rents. Is that a fair summary so far? Yeah, absolutely. And then the other part of that is we do know that over time, interest rates go up and interest rates come down. And if they do come down and you're now a homeowner, you could have gained equity in your home and you can refi at the lower rate and that is a win-win. So I say marry the house, date the rate. Marry the house, date the rate. That is a great saying. Makes sense. Uh, get in now while you can. And perhaps it's even an opportunity, right? Maybe maybe some prices have softened a little bit, Maria. What are you seeing That's... out there as far as as far as some of these properties prices softening? Is that is that just obviously depending upon each submarket? So there def it definitely is, you know, real estate is local and there is hyper markets within a market. I would say that the entry level homes aren't as, um, those, those sellers aren't as negotiable as more of a high end, which seem to be sitting and sitting and sitting. However, sellers are entertaining offers they are accepting inspections. They are, in some cases, in some cases, providing seller assists. And there's more choices for buyers today. So if they were on the fence and they didn't do anything, um, even though the rates went up, they they still have a potential to get a great house that they can afford before the prices continue to go up. Look, over time, right? We know a minimum, generally speaking, if you look over 30, 40 years, we go, we increase between three to 4%, three to 4% a year. So over five years, you will have a 20% increase in the value of your home. So if you buy now, you can afford the payment, you can get out of renting. You can also, the savings that you'll have from your on your taxes for owning that home, you could use to pay off some of the mortgage payment and therefore strength the in mortgage interest, the mortgage interest you would pay over the life of the over the life of the loan. I think that makes a lot of sense. I think the other stat I found too that was interesting is during any of these past recessions, there's only been one, which is the 2008 crash, where values of houses actually went down and and that's mainly due because of the, you know, the debt crisis and everything that went on with, with Associate. But that was kind of, and we're not seeing that now, as far as anyone can tell. There's nothing about these debt, these mortgages, and the lending practices that have been in place the last ten years um, affecting, um, and also values of houses that are that have appreciated, you know, quite a bit.